In this demonstration video, I'll walk you through an integration with Salesforce.com and ExactTarget. In this demonstration, I'm going to cover taking custom object data from Salesforce and syncing it with ExactTarget, sending out some emails from the ExactTarget platform, and then getting some tracking metrics back from that email into Salesforce. What this really tries to cover is going outside the normal native ExactTarget Salesforce integration that's offered by ExactTarget. This will allow me to take whatever type of data I want to work with, bring it into ExactTarget, segment, personalize using that, and also be able to get the metrics back from a send initiated in ExactTarget into Salesforce. So I'm no longer bound by having to do my sends out of Salesforce. So what we're going to do here is walk you through basically how this is going to work. So what I have is I've got um, Scribe is going to be running a set of communities that I'm, I'm selling houses in for this example. So what I want to do is I'm going to first start off with adding a new account. And this is going to be the Laporte household. So what this account is going to actually comprise of is, um, in this case, it's going to be community interest. So I've got a couple of communities that I've been working with. And I want to expose the fact that these individual members of this household um, are interested in that community. So I'm going to add some community interests. This will be a new home. And for all these examples, I'm going to use my own email address um, just to make it easier, but obviously this could be any email. So then the community that Allison's looking at, um, she'll be looking at the curvy condos. And I'll add a second one, and this is going to be a vacation home. This will be Evan looking for it. And Evan's going to be looking for a house in the uh, Winterfell Estates. So go ahead and save that. And now if I go back to that individual household, I can see that I've got a couple of new community interests um, hooked up to that. So what my integration is going to do is take that community interest record itself and sync that with uh, exact target. OK, so let's go ahead and uh, let's check an exact target. Now, what I've done is I've done a couple things with this. Um, I'm syncing these with both subscribers as well as a custom data extension. So if I look at my data extensions, I have a data extension in this list for community interest. And you can see I already had a record in there. So I can take a look at that and look at my records. And what I'll see in the records is I can tell by the field list. I've got you know, their basic information as well as which community they're actually interested in. So now I can see that um, Evan and Allison have both been added. Um, Brendan's in there as well. And I can see the different accounts they relate to, the community names that they're interested in, uh, et cetera. So what I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to go ahead and send an email uh, to that data extension. So I'll go ahead and pick my property interest one. And now I've sent that email from Exact Target. Now, what this is going to allow me to do is obviously I can use all the benefits and features of that Exact Target platform um, with my my email, and this is going to allow me to stay within that ET platform. I don't have to do all my email sends from Salesforce. I don't have to work between these two systems. Um, I can use the systems that I care about, and I can leverage the data from wherever I, I need it from. So while this is going to send, what's going to happen in the background is that this is obviously is going to go out and generate some tracking metrics. So who did it get sent to? Who clicked it? Who opened it? That data, uh, by the natural native Salesforce exact target integration, would not get back to Salesforce because this had been initiated out of exact target. By using the scribe integration, I can grab that data and I can get it back into Salesforce. And there I can, I can tie it off to that community interest record. So I don't have to do any kind of... Um, fun massaging of data to get it to a contact or a lead. I can use that custom object. I'm going to be able to do any kind of reports and dashboards I want so I can see how many times it's been clicked. Um, I can see all that information in the context that it means the most to me. So now um, 
Well, we've got that. That email's been sent. Um, I can go take a look in the tracking, and I can see the information around you know what that email's done. So I can see that it's been sent to three people. Uh, no click-throughs, no opens yet. But I can go ahead and look and show you now that I've actually opened up that email. So I've got my first one for Winterfell, and I can see it's got some little pictures. It's got some uh, some links, so I can click on some things, uh, make some of this this happen. I can open it a few times. I can click on a bunch of links in here, really to to illustrate you know that I want to have some different actions happening. But I can see I've got my Winterfell states there, and I can see also if I have another one, the Curvy Condos. It's got different dynamic content. So I can really leverage that data that came out of Salesforce in the way that's most you know, appropriate for me. I can see that in the header, it tells me where I'm interested in, um, a lot of this information. So pretty standard for, for your exact target platform to be able to do this work, but it's kind of nice to be able to leverage that real data inside of this. So now what I want to have happen next is I want that data to get tied back directly to uh, that community interest record. So I want to bring those those clicks, those opens, um, all of that activity that happened against the record, I want to get that back into Salesforce and I want it specifically to be tied to these community interests. So I should be able to do a couple of things now. Um, in the background this has been running so I can go into my email results and I can see here that that property interest um, email has been sent and I can see some high level stats around that. So the number of contacts, number of leads sent to, number sent, um, clicks, opens, some of the different deliverability rates. So some of that data has been captured already and what I want to do is I want to see those low level stats. So this is where I can see the high level um, kind of global stats around this email. But if I go back to my individual uh, household here, so my Laporte household, and I look at that new home that Allison's looking for, I can see attached to it is my individual email results. So I can see the subject line and if I click on that, I can see the open, the open um, fact that it was opened, the open date, uh, the sent date. So I can see all that data tied back to the individual record that I care about. So this really helps me in my, my working with Salesforce because I want this to fit my business model and what I need. I don't want to have to conform my business model and my, my services around what that native integration can offer to me. So that's kind of how this whole thing works. What I want to show you is now the inner workings of, of what we did to make this happen. So inside of Scrub Online, I can see I've got a, a solution. I've got it set as a cloud agent. Um, if I had an on-premise system I want to integrate with, I could pick an on-prem agent to work with that as well. But basically, I've taken some of the Scribe uh, provided solution packs that are out there and I morph them to fit my needs. So I use the Scribe solution packs to do all the sends, opens, clicks. If I'm worried about Salesforce storage, I don't want to have, you know, simply the fact that I sent an email, I don't want that to create a record for my, my community interest. I can uncheck any of these and it allows me to say I don't care about that one particular instance. And I can also see my community interest uh, record here. So basically what I'm doing is I'm querying that custom object from Salesforce and I'm upserting it into exact target. So in exact target I can see any of the standard entities like subscriber, lists, um, I can pull metrics out, but I can also see data extensions, which are your custom tables here within this UI. So I've picked that and I've simply mapped that data directly across, um, pretty straightforward. If I want to map additional data, so let's say I want to start adding those households, I want to bring them over as subscribers. So I can simply go in here and pull you know, my Salesforce, it's my source, in this case I'll query accounts, I really only want accounts. Uh, that have been modified since the last time I ran data. And I can say for each result, I want to add a sync to exact target. And I simply want to do a upsert. So I'm going to do an upsert operation. And in this case, I'll pick my subscriber. It'll pull back my subscriber fields. And then I can simply map the data. So if I want to map city to city, I drag and drop that across. I want to map company name to company name. I simply grab that name field and map it across. If I want to create any kind of more um, customized type of a link here, let's take subscriber key as an example. So what I want my subscriber key to be is actually my Salesforce ID, but I want to concatenate that with the word account. So I'm simply going to come in here, 
and say it's an account. So this way I can actually segment this a lot easier within exact target. I can tell what's a community interest, what's a contact, what's a lead, what's an account. I can bring all that data over very simply, very easily, save it and I'm, I'm off to the races. If I wanna add more logic in here, I could even say, you know what, I wanna do a lookup first. If that record does not already exist, I wanna create one. If it does exist, I wanna update it. I can bring data back to Salesforce so I can use an operation on that source connection. So I have a lot of capability here. I can see error information. I can actually debug this integration right from this UI. Uh, but it's, it's pretty straightforward and simple. And then once I have them all built, I just wanna schedule it. So I want it to run behind the scenes. Let's say in this case, I want it to run every minute. Every minute, look for a new community interest record in Salesforce, bring it into exact target. Uh, maybe I wanna bring the, the metrics back out batch so that every evening, bring those metrics back across the Salesforce. So I can change this, I can fit it to mold what I want to get out of this integration specifically for my business, um, utilizing this because it's a really easy, flexible platform that I can add in you know, more data sources, more lines of, of integration coming out from that exact target of Salesforce, uh, all within one easy to use platform.